Good afternoon, friends. This is Crystal with Blessings at Home. Um, today, I wanted to bring up a subject that is kind of hard for me to talk about, and it might be hard for other homeschoolers to talk about. Basically, it's those homeschool things that we don't usually talk about. Um, I think that we all have a mindset or a vision or a plan of how we expect our days to go. Um, it might be something that you thought about when you go to bed at night, tomorrow we're going to do X, Y, and Z, or when you get up in the morning, you know, just kind of say it's going to be a great day, we're going to get everything done today, and I'm going to have that dinner in the crock pot, and my husband's going to come home, and the house is going to smell amazing, and everything's going to be clean, and that, for me, usually, those are unrealistic expectations that I put upon myself. And why do we put those expectations on ourselves? And I, I think it, you know, we live in this Facebook status, Pinterest perfect, Instagram posting world where we see these little snapshots, these split second moments of people's lives. And normally we only want to talk about the good things, the good stuff. Um, I'm guilty of it. I, I, I've had a, a a homeschooling, you know, kind of support blessings at home Facebook page now for a couple of years, and um, I'll insert a picture here from earlier the, this morning, earlier this year when we um, went on a walking Brit on a walking trip. Anyway, in this picture, um, this is not the thing that I normally would post. Normally, everyone would be smiling and happy and it's like smile or you're grounded for the rest of the day. I'm guilty of saying that before we take a picture. Um, but this particular picture, I mean, it was just, the, the, the kids were miserable and grumpy and frowny and that was a reality. And that particular photo of our crew got more comments and more traffic than all the others of them sitting down smiling, doing their schoolwork, or us cuddling on the couch, getting our schoolwork done. Um, those are fantastic moments and treasure, things that I treasure in this homeschooling journey. But the reality is, is that most of the time, they don't want to be doing school. They would much rather be outside running around. Or when we are doing school, and I've got, oh, we're going to do this group subject because so-and-so can sit down and do it with her 12 kids. I can at least sit down and do it with my five. And somebody's picking their nose. Somebody's still in somebody's seat, you know. And nothing ever goes as planned. And I'm stopping and saying, hey, pay attention. Or, hey, if your Sunday school teacher was talking, would you be interrupting them right now? Um, just kind of, I don't know getting frustrated because this is not the way that it was supposed to go. Um, just, you know, 15 minutes ago, all of my children came out of their room after being in their room for at least an hour because a miracle happened and everyone was done with school by like one o'clock. So I was going to reward them with a movie. Um, of course it was an educational movie. We were watching a movie about Davy Crockett. Um, cause there's a, a paper due on it from one of the kids. Um, nobody nobody got along. Somebody was sitting on somebody. Somebody swung around and smacked somebody in the face. The kids were coming up saying, do we have to watch this? And it just, it flopped. And um, they were repeatedly told that yes, it did. It was part of school, even though technically this was our quiet time part of the day. But right now they were expected to sit there and to watch this video and to be quiet and leave each other alone. That didn't happen. Didn't happen. So they got sent to their room and I sat and sipped on a cup of coffee. That's the way it goes. That's the truth. That's the reality. The homeschooling is not always rainbows and sunshine. Life is not always rainbows and sunshine. Our car broke down yesterday. Nothing went according to plan yesterday. So because of our car situation, nothing's going to go as originally planned tomorrow. So the theme is, is that reality hits and things aren't always going to go the way that we planned. And the lessons, uh, the, the schooling is not going to be the way that they are in, this isn't, this isn't a curriculum catalog, but 
the kids don't always look like that. Sometimes they're taking the cars and they're smacking their siblings in the head with it because he's got the blue one and he wants the blue one. That's just the reality. That's life with kids. And I think that sometimes we fail or we're afraid to say, oh my goodness, what on earth was I thinking when I said, yes, we'll homeschool, Lord, let's do it. Or what on earth was I thinking? These teenage hormones, we're not going to survive the next few years. We're not going to survive high school. There's no way I can do this. I think that we're afraid to admit our failures um, because of how much of our lives are on display. And we like to have that, hey, I've got it all together um, persona. But if we admit we're failures, we're gonna, are we afraid of what people would think? Are we afraid that we'll lose our super mom status? Are we afraid of judgment of others? Hey, my kids had cereal for breakfast this morning. They didn't have organic um, oatmeal with fresh farm eggs. They had cereal. And sometimes I feel like I have to hide the fact that my kids eat Pop-Tarts sometimes too. Um, anyway, sorry, this is going off not quite where I expected. Um, I'm rambling. I just wanted to encourage you, you all, you moms out there that maybe do you have those days when nothing goes as planned, when the kids say, I want to go to real school, or when you have a child with special needs and they throw a two hour tantrum and you're thinking, oh my goodness, what am I doing to these kids that, that I feel like I can handle this? Um, it's okay that days don't go as planned and it's okay if they need the stinkers need to go to their room for a little bit so we can all regroup and come back and do it have a do-over um that's that's life and that's normal and i just wanted to just kind of do a little shout out to everybody to let you know that um this is the neatest part of of my house right now and that um, we don't let people see the ugly stuff and maybe we should start, you know, just admitting our failures and, um, you know, hopping on and saying, gosh, I don't know what's going on, but today we had a really rough day. And I think that we need to do that more often so that we can come along beside each other and encourage one another and be like, you know what? I understand. Can I pray for you? Because you're not alone. Because we had a day where nothing went as planned yesterday and we'll have another one tomorrow and I know what you're going through and I you know that's it I just wanted to pop in and say um something about the days that we don't normally say something about um so that's it for today thank you all so much for watching um be nice in your comments and uh, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it thanks guys and I hope you all have a blessed day